Hey, what's going on everybody? Uh, we're gonna do a quick product review here. You guys are feeling up to it. Uh, I just posted a picture of this on our Pass the Controller website and I uh, already had an inquiry as to maybe if we could see this thing in motion. So what I wanted to do is maybe share this with you. Uh, what you're looking at here is called the Pi Boy. P-I-B-O-Y, Pi Boy. It is by a company, I think their name is Kinhank. It's hard to tell what the company's name is uh, because it's it's overseas, so I don't know if they're actually the distributor or the manufacturer or both, but you can see there in the middle, it's kind of small detail here. Uh, and we'll try to focus in on that. Uh, it does say Pie Boy. It says One Up Pie Boy. So, One Up Pie Boy. All right, so let's, uh, we'll turn this thing on and I'll explain exactly what it is that we're looking at here. So, this is a handheld emulator. And it's based upon the uh, Raspberry Pi platform. So basically what that means is that this particular one is powered by uh, RetroPie. So it's a front end, it's an emulator, uh, works on emulation station. So there's you know, a bunch of games on here. Um, I'll, I'll tell you a little bit more about that in a second, but let's just watch this thing boot up here real quick. Boots up pretty quickly, it's not too bad does have a, a pretty solid lithium-ion battery back here. You can see that thing lasts forever on a single charge. It's pretty ridiculous. Also, while we have it turned around, I may as well show you. So uh, the board itself does come with its own heat sinks. Uh, and we have a uh, micro SD card in there. This particular one is 64 gigabytes, which can hold a ton of games. Uh, in my case, it's 150,000 games. That's right. That's a 150000. So that's a lot of games. Um, now, nothing super uh, recent. So like, you know, you're not going to have like Xbox games on here. You're not going to have PlayStation 4, but uh, you'll have everything up through probably like the 32-bit era, um, you know, like your Neo Geos and stuff like that. So, you know, it's pretty cool. Let's take a run through here and we'll see what we have. So right off the bat here, you can see... A pretty solid screen on there. I, I'm going by memory here, but the screen, it is an HD screen. I think it's 480p. Uh, the resolution is pretty solid on it. Um, let's see. Uh, I don't know how this is turning out here. I can see the screen, but I don't know if you can see the details. So let's, let's just try to focus in here just a little better. Come on. There we go. All right. So I'll, I'll run through because I don't know if, how well this is really going to video record here. So let's, let's go through. So uh, we have Nintendo Entertainment System games. We have the NES Classic. We have hacked NES games. Uh, we have Famicom. We have the Disk System, Super Nintendo, SNES uh, Mini, Super Famicom, Satellite View, Game Boy, Game Boy Color, Game Boy Advance, N64, 64DD. <laughs> Virtual Boy, uh, the old uh, Sega systems, the 1000, 3000, Tech Toy, Master System, Genesis, Mega Drive, uh, Game Gear, 32X, Atari, 2600, 7800, 800, 5200, Jaguar, Lynx, Turbo Graphics, and uh, Super Famicom, or uh, PC Engine are on there. Uh, Super Graphics, Game & Watch, I mean, it's just a ton. Um, Neo Geo Pocket, Vectrex, Wonder Swan. The Capcom uh, Play System Arcade Emulators, uh, Arcade Emulators MAME, Neo Geo, Play Choice 10 versus System DOS, Amiga, Amstrad, Apple II, Atari ST, Commodore 64, Tandy, Dragon 32, ColecoVision, uh, the FM7, uh, Intellivision, love the Intellivision, MSX, MSX2, the Oric PC8800, uh, uh, I mean, just like everything on here. It's ridiculous. Uh, Infocom, Sinclair, uh, ZX, uh, yeah, the, the ZX Spectrum, we have that. PC games, all kinds of fun stuff. So, okay. Now, I'm kind of a no-frills guy. So, what I ended up doing is, uh, you know, I know with a lot of these Pi systems, you can have a pretty cool front end. And, or, uh, you know, like an attract mode, and you can have all kinds of stuff, like the themes and everything. I did not do this. Because... That stuff takes up a lot of memory on a card, and I was going for number of games, not necessarily, uh, you know, all the nice little 
frills and stuff like that. So this just has a ton of games. They're listed alphabetically. We're in the NES emulators now. Let's skip over. Let's skip down here and we'll see what we have. Uh, here. We'll jump to M. I'm sorry if this screen's super small. You'll you'll be impressed here in a second, I promise. Uh, let's go. Let's go Mega Man 6. All right. It's going to take a moment to load here. Ooh. Very cool. All right. So I'll take you on a quick tour of this thing. So the volume button up top here. A headphone jack, HDMI out if you want to connect this to a TV. Uh, we have a power adapter here, on off switch. We have a two speed fan. There's a switch on here. I'm going to turn the volume down because I don't know if you can hear me. All right, so there are two speeds to the fan here. It has an internal cooling system. Uh, I always keep it on the highest one because, you know, it's summer. I don't want to burn this thing out. System does have an analog stick, it has a D-pad, has six function buttons there. Uh, start and, yeah, here we go. Select and start, obviously, let's turn this guy around here. Okay, we already saw the back of this thing, but uh, I think it's important to note that it has the additional trigger buttons here. So you can have like an L2, L1 kind of thing going on. It's kind of nice, you can map those however you want. And, uh, what else? okay, so speakers are up here. Sure, you can see those. I'm trying to think if there's anything else. Uh, that's your that's your battery life indicator there. Um, oh, I know what I wanted to show you. Okay, so on the side here, it does have an Ethernet port. I don't know what you're going to use that for, but it also does have uh, four USB slots here. So I mean, you can actually put another controller on here, and uh, you know, attach it via HDMI to a TV, and then you have you know, sort of a home console you can plug right up to your TV. So. Uh, yeah, kind of cool stuff. And like I said, I mean, there's, there's just a ton of games on this particular build. Um, you know, 150,000 ROMs on this thing. So yeah, I, I swung for the fences. Absolutely. So, uh, yeah, if you have any questions, uh, drop them down below. I'd be happy to help. Thanks.